Welcome to MPS Kingston Live. Now what we're gonna do is take you into custody and give you a unique insight as to how the prisoners are processed once they arrive at the police station. So let's go. I just have to announce to begin with, obviously custody is live. So if anything happens in there, we will have to cancel that. Um, first off, this is where they arrive. So as you can see, there's a van parked in the bay here now. Prisoners are brought into custody and then uh, removed from the transport and then brought up to this door here. So when we come up to this door, press the custody button and then hopefully the team in custody will allow us to come through. Uh, this has taken a lot of work and a lot of live uh, planning because obviously it's uh, an operational custody suite. So hopefully the door will answer shortly. What we're going to do now is I'm just waiting for a nod yet. Yeah, Can I just interrupt and say get a shot of the custody suite before I hand you over to uh, PCL. It's, it, it's quite a daunting experience. A gated door. But for me, a member of the public, that really signifies that, that we're entering uh, uh, something substantial here. So I'm going to step out of shot. PC Ellis is yeah. going to introduce you to the custody sergeant. The custody sergeant is the individual, the police officer that runs absolutely everything in this custody suite. He'll process all the prisoners as they arrive. So stay tuned, stay watching, because it's a fabulous insight into what goes on in there. And we might even look in a police cell too. We are going to go into custody now. As I did say earlier, it is live custody. There is people and prisoners in cells. If anything happens, we will have to come off, but we'll take you through now. Fingers crossed everything will be okay. So. Um, they're also asking, who is it that's behind us? Ah, camera crews. That's a bit of a secret at the moment. Uh, more will be uh, we brought into that a bit later on. So I'd like to introduce you to Sergeant Rees. Uh, he is in charge of Kingston custody today. Uh, he is looking after all the prisoners um, and responsible for everyone that's, that's here. So, Sarge? Hello there. Uh, when somebody's arrested, um, it's this one, is it? When it somebody's is. arrested, they'll come up the ramp here. They normally have to wait in the holding room, which is in there, because it's quite a busy custody. Um, at the moment, we're up to about 3,500 prisoners, um, which is in six months. We cover Richmond and Kingston boroughs here. So it gets very, very busy all day and all night. The busiest times are probably Friday and Saturday night when you know all the cells are going to be full on each night. Are we able to have a look inside? I know yeah, it's a, an operational yeah, custody, but is there yeah. space? That would be fantastic. So from here, after they're searched, they'll get fingerprinted. Uh, and after fingerprinting, they'll go down through this door here. And this is a cell. All the cells in Kingston have CCTV. Um, the toilet area isn't covered by the CCTV, but everywhere else is covered by CCTV. It's safer for them, and it's much easier for us to monitor them. Is there any reason for the prisoners to leave their cells at all now? It's all so modern with the communication systems. Do they come out much now? Yeah, they would come out to, um, to be interviewed yeah. in the main. Um, also, if they, they'll need a private consultation with their solicitors, that has to be done outside of there. Right, okay. General terms, we don't bring people into the cell, yeah. we bring them out. Fantastic. And once the fingerprints are done, they get sent off to a big computer and checked, and we get the result back literally within 10, 15 minutes, depending on how busy. Yeah. So it compares it to the crime scenes as well, doesn't it? Yes. So if you know, uh, <laughs> watch the red strip. Uh, if, um, yeah, if, you know, if someone is wanted for a crime scene or something, it would, it would ping up. In the old days, you had to do it by ink. And if you weren't sure of someone's identity, you had to physically take them up to Scotland Yard and get them checked. Now we can do it within 10 minutes. It's much, much easier. Really, really good stuff. This is innovative stuff. You are now live in a custody suite. How did this come about? And uh, well, talk us through it. Well, it's, it's, it's down to you guys again, pushing those boundaries, coming to me and saying, um, right, we want to take people into custody. Um, as I keep saying, you know, I want to be as transparent as possible. I want to keep pushing those boundaries. This one was a bit more challenging because it's not been done before. So um, there's some negotiating done, but the team that now run custody, because I don't actually run the custody suite here, it's actually run by uh, Met Detention, which is another command, and uh, we negotiate with them, but they were really, really open to people coming in and, and having a look around. Obviously, there's risks involved in it, seeing prisoners, etc., or something happening while you're in custody. But again, you know, I think those risks are balanced against that transparency bit I keep talking about. Let the public have a look around the custody suite. Hopefully, the first time and only time they'll ever see it.
Yeah, well it's certainly my first time in a custody suite and, and, and what a fabulous insight to actually look around at a police cell and, and I can tell you now that there are prisoners out there being booked in as we talk to you on camera. So that, that is how functional this uh, custody suite is.